scope of social welfare administration there are broadly two views about the scope of social welfare administration these are post cold view and integral view post cold view of SWA this is a narrow view on social welfare administration and it takes in account mostly the execution of the government's sponsored programs in other words this view corresponds with the managerial view Henry Fayol, L. Urwick, Firsay M. Oven and Luther Gulick are advocates of this view according to Henry Fayol the main categories of administration are organization, command, coordination, and control. L. Urwick also agrees with Fayol's view. PM Quinn states that the study of administration deals with man, material, and methods. L. Gulick has given a magic formula in a word postcode with each letter describing one technique. Gulick's approach is technique oriented. The letters in postcode stand for the following. Number one, P for planning. It means working out broad outline of the things that need to be done and the methods to be adopted to accomplish the purpose set for the enterprise. Number two, O for organization. It is the establishment of the formal structure of authority through which the work is subdivided, arranged, defined, and coordinated for the defined objective. Number three, S for staffing. It is the process of filling all positions in the organization with adequate and qualified personnel does it means all personnel bringing in and training the staff and maintenance of favorable conditions <coughs> at work number four d4 directing it is the continuous task of making decisions and embodying them in specifying and general orders and instructions and thus guiding the enterprise number five c4 coordinating it means the integration of several parts in an orderly goal to achieve the purpose of the undertaking. In other words, coordinating means the all-important duty of integrating the work of various divisions, sections, and other parts of the undertaking. Number six, R4 reporting. Reporting means keeping both the supervisors and subordinates informed of what is going on and arranging for collection of such information through inspection and research and records. Number seven, B for budgeting. It is all that goes with budgeting in the form of fiscal planning, accounting and control. Integral view of SWA Another view on the scope of social welfare administration has come into is the integral view. Due to the emergence of new social problems, the subject matter of social welfare administration is expanding day by day. The already overburdened administrative machinery of the government itself not being able to successfully tackle these problems involves various non-governmental organizations for this purpose. Therefore, this view incorporates not only the subject matter of social welfare administration but also the implementation aspect which is primarily the focus of post-code view. The scope of social welfare administration is quite diverse in nature. With the emergence of new social problems of entirely different nature a new strategy needs to be evolved for their solution it may require optimum utilization of available resources for example human institutional financial 
technological in a changing context. The social welfare administration in incorporates a number of factors that are significant in the entire process of successful solution of social problems. A brief description of these factors is as follows. Number one, social problems. Assessment of its causes, prevention and treatment through public participation and effective implementation of social legislation. Second, social services. Social services are made for general public through provision of health, education, housing, etc. and make them more effective for the upliftment of this advance and vulnerable sections of society. Number three, social security. It makes and implements effective social assistance and social insurance provisions. It aims to compensate for the loss of income due to the unemployment, disability or debt caused by accident and all else through social insurance and social assistance. Next, social policy. To make effective social policy for the welfare of underprivileged sections of the society to achieve the goals of welfare state through social action. Interdisciplinary nature. Social welfare administration requires the interdisciplinary knowledge and constant interaction with other social sciences to know human beings in totality to solve their problems in an appropriate manner. Administrative structure. Social welfare administrator needs to understand the organizational and administrative structure of social welfare program at each and every level of implementing organization. It is also important to know the role and setup of non-governmental organizations for effectively carrying out their functions. Financial administration. Since the scope of social welfare and social security is increasing day by day and more and more people are coming under the coverage of these programs, the need for additional financial support increases in order to make out proper and effective budgeting of such programs. The knowledge of financial administration is highly essential. Therefore, professionals engaged in social welfare administration must be trained in techniques and principles of financial administration.